PS4 flash sale? What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Monkey Flop here and I know you're asking yourself this question. Why is there a flash sale on Thursday when it normally happens on Friday? Well, they knew I was going to be covering San Diego Comic Con and they knew I wouldn't be able to cover the flash sale uh, tomorrow. So they did me a favor and they put it on. <laughs> today i'm just kidding that's a horrible joke um they're probably at san diego uh, san diego comic-con right now i can't even speak and that's why the flash sale is probably going on with that being said we got a flash sale up to 75 percent off you don't need playstation plus in order to take advantage of these deals and i'm kind of curious to th see what you guys think of all of the sales um, so let's go ahead and browse through these. Uh, there's a lot of uh, indie titles in here. A lot of games that I, I, I honestly have not played. I usually use Madam Eve's account because she doesn't purchase a lot of, uh, you know, of these games. Um, but I could have honestly used my own account for this. So that way I, you know, I don't have to log into hers. Um, but... I guess you wouldn't see the price of 8-Bit Invaders. 8-Bit Invaders is actually pretty cool. If you guys are into like those old school games, um, it was pretty cool, but it didn't keep my interest for too long. So just throwing that out there. We get the Batman Arkham Collection, 60% off of that. That is $23.99, less than what you would pay for just one of the games by itself. So you get all three of the games. That is honestly a steal and it's probably going to be my pick for the flash sale, if anything. Um, but I'm kind of curious, and I want to know your guys' thoughts. So please throw uh, throw some comments in those comments down below. Now, I have worked with Pinball FX3 uh, in the past. I've covered uh, a couple of different um, add-ons that or levels that they've done. And while they are enjoyable, you know, $10 is a little bit steep for, um, you know, balls of glory <laughs> or avengers chronicles um but for 4.99 that's honestly a decent price um you know if you guys like to play p uh, pinball um you know this is probably the best option for you i would probably more recommend it on the switch i know some people are gonna be like ah how could you say switch when uh you know you're a playstation guy i have a switch too um and i prefer playing this on the switch it's better on a handheld i wish um they would have this on the playstation video because i would totally play it but unfortunately not so um i'm recommending it on the on the switch rather than the ps4 but if you have a ps4 and you want pinball by all means um these are not bad prices at all not at all we got cartoon network battle crashers that's also on sale we get uh dead island retro revenge um that is 75 percent off but it's shown as playstation now i'm kind of curious to see uh okay wow this is actually uh a dollar 24 that's insane uh, original price was $4.99 though, so I, I could definitely see the 75% off. Dead Island Definitive Collection Bundle is $7.49. Um, we get the full game by itself. We get um, another full game, uh, Dead Island Riptide. We have uh, DC Universe Online. Um, it's a free-to-play, but they do have bundles and add-ons that are available. I would recommend, you know, if you guys are planning on, like, picking up any of the free-to-play add-ons, um, go and check it, download it, see if it's your cup of tea, and then go and purchase it, um, unless you've already been playing it. Homefront, The Revolution, uh, if you guys... Homefront is a very interesting game. That's all I gotta say. Um, it, it's actually pretty good. I like the story, but that's all I gotta say. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. A Legend of K Anniversary PlayStation 4. Let's go ahead and check out the price because sometimes PlayStation's like, ah, I don't want to show you the price unless you click on it. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, but there it is. Um, Hotline Miami. I'm trying to think like, uh, what? That's it? Hotline Miami is also on sale uh, for $249. Hotline Miami 2, wrong number. Um, I would, you know, these are pretty cool games if you guys like top-down old-school games. Um, Titan Souls, is, uh, it's it's all right, but I would probably recommend Hotline Miami over, over that. Geometry Wars 3, uh, dimensions evolved and we got shadow a warrior also on sale so 
Um, if anything, uh, you know, Data Island is an awesome game. I definitely do recommend it. And for the price point of seven forty nine, it's not bad at all. Um, you know, for the definitive collection, uh, why is this price not showing? Um, so that one's four ninety nine. Um, there, there are a little bit uh, differences um, because this one is the game by itself, and these are uh, two games actually. So that's pretty cool. A dollar forty, not what was it? A dollar twenty-four for that. That's that's honestly a steal. Um, if you guys wanted to get the collection for the Shadow of War, if you played them in the past um, and you like them, definitely recommend it. Uh, Dead by Daylight was free on the PlayStation Plus. A lot of people that wanted it probably already have it, um, but. Out of all of them, I would definitely recommend Batman Arkham Collection. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a flash sale. Now, I know a lot of people in the comments are going to be like, ah, oh, the flash sale was kind of weak. It was not that great. I would definitely agree. But we do have a couple of good titles in here. Um, and if you guys are fans of, like, indie titles, there's definitely a good amount of options for you guys. You know, we can't always get, like, the best flash sales, like, each and every time. Um, but we're always hopeful that we do. So please support your boy. Drop a comment. Drop a like. And if you guys are new, please subscribe with those bell notifications turned on. And I will see you guys in the next news update. You guys are freaking awesome. Oh, and I will be at San Diego Comic Con. Um, I get everything sorted out. I get a house sitter um, who's going to be here for me on Friday. And I'm going to actually be at San Diego Comic Con. Uh, getting some more cosplay footage for you guys because I know um, that's something that a lot of people like so um, Just stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for the support I will have a video later on today and I will see you guys in the next news update